Hi guys, welcome to an episode of Luke's Garage. Today we're going to have a quick look at uh, UGS. We're going to look at probing, macros, and also the ability to remove commands. So we're going to start with probing. So I've got my carbide motion probe set up there on my machine, and you can see it's just above the, uh, the little zero thing. I've also got one eighth tool mill or end mill in there. So looking at UGS, what can we see here? We're in the probe module. And the first thing we do is look at the general settings. So it's in millimeters, it's a G54, the end mill diameter is 3.2. I mean, it's technically 3.18, I think, it, but I don't really give a, or don't really care there. We then got our feed rates. So we've got fast find rate and then slow measure. So UGS does two probing cycles. It quickly finds a point uh, and tags off that. Then it'll do a slow measure. You've then got the retract amount, which is how high above um, it'll be. So we leave that alone, but you want 3.2 if it's a 1 eighth. Uh, you want 6.35 if it was a, a 1 quarter. But your slow measure is 100 and you're fast at 250 and retract amount 15. Now on Z, you're meant to use Z um, with a carbon motion touch probe as the probe fully on. So the touch plate thickness is 25 and then 10 or minus 10 is the... Uh, the distance it will go down so it will lower Z by 10 millimeters and if it doesn't hit anything it would fail assuming it does go down and hit something before 10 millimeters you're absolutely fine on the X Y and Z so this is the one that I always use. you've got your distance direction so your X so 10 that will mean it will go left um, or by 10 millimeters same by Y by 10 millimeters and then you've got your Z direction which is minus 10 You've then got your offset, so for the carbide motion probe, it's 7 on the X and Y, and then 22. Now if I click on measure the outside corner, we're going to run this probe cycle. And you can see we have homed our machine over that point. And if we look at that uh, and just click return to zero, we're now at zero, so we've got our workplace coordinates at the top and machine coordinates at the bottom. Remember that's after you've homed. If we look there, we're pretty much dead on what I would call a datum. So what else can we do from here? We've obviously probed and we're at zero, so we could just start our job if we were ready. Uh, but there's a couple of other things I'd like to talk about. Under the tools menu, options, along the top here click on controller options, we have the uh, option, I say option a lot, to remove regular expressions. There's a few which aren't supported by Carbide Motions board, um, and that's the uh, tool change command. So what I'd like you to do is add the code T1M6, M6 and M7. That will allow you to run a job without having all these pauses in there and the error messages. Do that and you should be fine. We also have a few different macros we can use. I've got a handful in here. If I wanted to go to the front middle of my machine, I'm using G53, X minus 403, so the middle of my X, Y minus 803, the front of my Y, and then Z minus five at F2000, which is the feed rate of 2000. I then have another one which is quite useful, um, which is 30 millimeters above tool center. So once you've homed your machine, you can use this and you go to G90, X0, Y0, Z minus 30, F1000. So that would bring me 30 millimeters above tool zero. So let's click on that. I've got my little probes down here. That's 30 millimeters above tool zero. And if I wanted to go right into the middle of the machine, I can use the front middle command, which takes me there. So that's typically where I do my tool changes. Um, I'm just trying to think if there's anything else which is going to be pretty useful to you. I mean, if I click on the return to zero, we're now back at zero. So my typical startup procedure before running a job, I would home the machine which will home your machine. 
I will then find my point of interest, uh, which is my, my tool start. So let's imagine it's here. I run my probing cycle. I then return to zero. Return to zero. And then I'm pretty much good to go. Anyway, I hope that's been useful for you all. Um, that's covered off probing, the uh, ability to remove commands, and also um, some of the macros that I'm using. The other thing just to note is how the jog commands work. It's slightly different to carbide motion. You can't just press and hold it, you have to tap it. You can change the step size. So how many steps, so I've got one millimeter on X and Y and then Z, and then you've got the feed rate in which ignore that 20,000, I'm not using or jogging around at 20,000 steps. It is limited by the, the hard limits. Anyway guys, I hope that's useful. Thanks very much. Cheers, Luke.